question 2014 4C uh, is that the metal bush of rubbing bearing is coated with 300 micrometer of layer of white metal and subjected to plastic compressive load by rotating steel shaft. So apparently this uh, this is the shaft all right and you will have this coating this coating that is along the shaft between the shaft and the bearing okay so the bearing itself is this this one so if you were to look in this direction all right so this is the coating all right this is the cross section so if you were to draw it all the way it becomes like very long yeah it's a cylinder thing so therefore um, this is how to interpret the question is what the question is trying to say uh, having the orange color one the the layer of white metal as a sacrificial layer I should say okay to protect the the bearing from the rotating steel shaft all right and then the diameter of the shaft is 60 millimeter and speed is turning at 20 rpm and assume load produce plastic stress of the white metal so I think it's going to remove the white metal or right, plastic stress and therefore having a wear efficient of blah blah and uh, Brino hardness of this blah blah determine the life of bearing using Archer's wear equation. So the Archer's wear equation, all right. I would suggest that you you should use this equation: volume of uh, material worn away, k times load times distance of sliding. This is W. This is the S. All right, and this is the the coefficient of friction. Uh, yeah. And therefore, uh, write it now. So this is the amount of volume being uh, removed. Uh, when your when your shaft is turning, or when your shaft is turning, all right, and this is the amount of or your your shaft is turning, all right, your amount of layer being is is slowly being removed, all right, slowly being removed, and be becoming thinner and thinner. So they are they are looking forward to 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 looking at how much uh, volume it is being removed, all right. There's actually two approaches in in in, in solving this. So you need to you need two approaches to solve this solution. So this is the first one that you, you need to calculate for the um, sliding distance in meter, I guess. All right. And you also need another equation to find the velocity. All right. Because velocity is meter per second. All right. So if you were to take meter per second divided by meter, all right, then you can find the amount of seconds, I think, somewhere over there. Lah. Okay. So you need to deal with two things, the, the volume being removed so generally, we will, we will have this value later on. I just need to inform you first. Your purpose is to find for sliding distance. All right, this is the first part. I think in this video, we'll talk about the first part, which is to find the sliding distance. Then the second part of the video, we'll talk about the velocity. All right, where we, how we calculate it and eventually solve for the solutions to keep things um, neater. Therefore, let us solve for the um, sliding distance. So this is the vo amount of volume being removed. And therefore, um, if you think about it, the volume can be um, pre um, decomposition into um, or decompose into uh, the length. I should say the length divided by the area is equals to k times the load times the sliding distance, right? So, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. All right, it should be length times area is equals to k w s. Yeah, what the hell? All right. So um, the length itself we have been given. All right, is a coated with 300 layer of white metal. All right, and it doesn't actually say that um, the the layer is spanned. All right, spanned across the the whole 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 thing. All right, so this thing over here, I ding ding, give me a while. Yeah, so I think right, this is not spanning across already. I think this is talking about this 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 thing. So this layer over here is 300 micrometer. Alright, this is in terms of a particular length. Alright, the area is this, if you were to draw all the way, maybe you give me a while. If you were to draw all the way up to here, this is the length, alright, times another area. Alright, because it's volume, right? So it's, it's a bit, yeah, come to think of it, right? A bit chim. Uh. What he have done is actually to take this as a length. Alright, because the volume is equals to length times area. By right, this thing over here should be the area, right? Because pi r squared times the whole length will give you the volume, right? In this case, he, he took it as this is the length, or the area he keep it as a question mark, all right? So it's more on a form of, um, you know, tricky thing, which is really trying to kill you. 
But meanwhile, let's take it. All right. So it's k w divided by a s. So the l itself, let's just use the 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 length that is given to him. All right. It's this one. Okay. So generally, in in the lecturer's note, he wrote written has a d. All right. Most probably it's a diameter or whatever. But let's just keep it simple to for illustrations. All right. And then next, maybe I change the color. So the length itself, we have known that it's actually uh, 300 micrometer. The K is uh, 14 times 10 to a negative 18. It's a meter square per newton. Okay, it's a meter square per newton. And uh, so this is the K, maybe I should label. And WA, we will need to know. And S, which is the one that we need to find. So how? So we are now missing with the W divided by A, the load divided by area. Okay, so how do we solve for this? Okay, so this is generally coming from this equation. All right, stress max is equals to WA. All right, so let's just plug plug this in. Okay, so this is. Uh, so if you think about it, it's actually very very straightforward. It's just force over area is equals to your stress, but just that the F is becomes W, like make you a bit chim. But it's just uh, force over area is equals to the maximum stress. That's all. Okay. And uh, all right. So how do we find the stress max? Uh, because since we know that uh, this cannot be found, all right, the area is a bit chim. So therefore, uh, stress max we can do something with it. So then he will introduce another cheat code equation. It's not anywhere can be found. All right, it's uh, it's this equation. Brino hardness is equals to three times the stress maximum divided by nine point eight one. Okay. So um. This is uh, the equations to find your stress stress measurement and uh, relating to your Brunel hardness. Okay, so the Brunel hardness is given to you as 20. So I think you know how to solve. So I just do it up. Yeah. So if you think about it, this is actually what. All right. This is actually your U strength. All right. Because if you remember, one third U strength is equals to stress max. Somewhere else you you could find. All right. Yeah, one. This is three, but actually it's one, one third lah, Somewhere, somewhere you can find lah. But anyway, I just want to highlight to you that this thing also over here. You also may want to take note of it. All right. So therefore, this is your U strength. All right. And therefore, Brino hardness times your gravity will give you your U strength of your material. And this is how they actually find your your U strength of material. And uh, okay. So therefore, what is the value? Is it goes to sixty five. 0.4 mega pascal okay so let me just crop things so that it's easier for us to see give me a while okay so we where is it okay yeah my pen is over here so this is 65.4 mpa all right it's in terms of meter in terms of meter in terms of meter is micrometer okay so let's just solve for the sliding distance all right so i will not go into details i'll just give you the answer Keep trying on the calculator, it doesn't work. So let's just do manually. Yeah, a bit check already. So um to do this manually, right? My 10 to the power of 6. Alright. 10 negative 6 divided by 10 to the power of 6 is 10 to the negative 12. Right? And I can so in other words I'm clearing this dude over here. Alright, so I'm settling them now. Okay, maybe I should straight away multiply uh, divide them. So uh, 4.587 and then this is 14 times 10 to a negative 18 alright so negative 12 divided by negative 18 you will get times 10 to a 6 okay meter alright and for my f this thing divided by this thing what do you have? I'll have 0 0.327 and the lecturer's answer is therefore alright uh, 327 so it's 1 2 3 times 10 to the power of 3 yeah correct so times 10 to the power of 3 meter okay so this is the amount of sliding distance that the, the shaft has moved. Alright, so this 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 shaft is turning alright dun 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 for this amount of meter. And uh, yeah. So therefore this is how we find the sliding distance, but we haven't finished yet. We need to find the velocity also in order to find the amount of time needed to to solve uh, for the solutions. Right. Again, this is not the end of the thing. We only solve for the amount of sliding distance. But I just want to highlight a few equations that is important to solve this thing. The first thing is to determine uh, the volume is equal to L over A. 
and then to also know how to articulate with it because it's a bit cheat code and then the Brino hardness is not given in any way you need to memorize it's not in the text also alright and uh where give me a while B over A is equals to your stress max okay it's just force over area is equals to stress but writing a very chim term alright and last but not least one third U strength is equals to stress max okay it's not within this video but yeah, as you can see just now I have shown you already but yeah this is still U strength okay so at least you need to know how to deal with things and Brino hardness times 9.81 will give you so BHN times 9.81 will give you your U strength already right, something that is not given to you but I just found also so yeah let's check it out therefore eventually you can solve for your um, sliding distance as this value okay so uh, next video we'll talk about how to solve for the velocity and the answers see you